Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Grim Fairy Tales issue 105. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode uh, 76, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are the exclusive comics we got Charm Season 10, issue 3, Goddess Inc., issue 5, Synergy, issue 2, Just League United, issue 7. Bitch Planet, Issue 1, Batman Eternal, Issue 36, Future's End, Issue 32, and Earth 2 World's End, Issue 10. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, Episode 76, which is annotated. Also, guys, this Wednesday I decided I'm going to do a Q&A at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time to celebrate the end of finals, so want to announce that also, so be sure to join that show. Uh, but let's talk about... Um, Grim Fairy Tales issue uh, 105. So with this issue, we get to see the second part of our nymph storyline. And um, we learn a little bit more about our nymph character in the Grim, Fairies uni uh, Grim Fairy Tales universe. And we see exactly what her power does. And she wants to try to save her boyfriend, Wolf. And in that process, her mother dies, and she is really confused about her powers and how to use them uh, correctly. And she's also hiding a, a big secret that she thinks that, um, I think her name is, I'm new to the Grim Fairy Tales universe, I think it's Barda, I want to say her name is. Uh, so she's been a longtime member of this Grim Fairy Tales universe. She used to be a villain, and now this nymph character believes that she's going to be a villain again. So we have to see where that storyline goes. Uh, but honestly, I really, really enjoyed this issue. Artwork is beautiful. Um, you get to see the facial expressions of, I think, a very emotional issue. Uh, really learning more about this character and learning her past and learning why she feels like she's such an outsider, uh, but at the same time trying to find her spot in this realm uh, team, this realm war team, um, or they're called realm knights, so uh, the realm knights team, and trying to find her place. Uh, but what I really enjoyed about this episode, uh, about this issue was uh, the emotional beats. Uh, I thought there were many emotional beats here that made you really care for the character. So overall, beautiful artwork, great, great story to learn more about our, our main characters and our new characters of the Grim Fairy Tales universe. And as a new reader, I, I really feel like I understand the universe very well, or um, Pat Chan really um, explains the series in a great way for a new reader. So especially since issue 101, it's still staying that way. So I'm glad to see that as a new reader. You're not getting um, different storylines thrown at you. Um, they definitely explain what Neverland is in this universe and who these characters are in, the, in this universe. And it helps that you have newer characters to um, explain things. Uh, the older characters explain things to the newer characters so a new audience would understand. So overall, I gave Grim Fairy Tales a uh, 4.5 stars, and this was actually my pick of the week. Uh, again, if you love emotional beats, if you like a uh, good character-driven uh, uh, issue, uh, I think you should definitely pick up Grim Fairy Tales. This is my pick of the week, uh, issue 105, uh, 4.5 stars. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Ryan Situations. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links from my comic book, like Father Like Daughter, and don't forget to like the Facebook page of like Father Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.